there's a rumor going around saying that the Orbital V collection boxes have two Evolving Skies and Cosmic Eclipse packs inside of them. Headed over to my local Walmart to see if I can find them. Hopefully I do. And like everybody is flipping out about these Orbital V boxes. So, but yo, check it out, y'all. We ended up picking up four boxes because I think there was like seven or something like that of the Orbital V box. Because they're reprint in Target right now, the cost of these boxes, they're worth $18, but the actual pack value inside of them is closer to like $30. It's like insane. I think I'm at the Pokemon section. Let's go around because there's nothing over here on this side. Ooh, this target has no Pokemon cards. Okay, so that first place was a bus, but now I'm heading to a different target that's 15 minutes away. And let's see if we can score some. Target number two. Let's see if our luck changes. So our luck did change. We actually did find a smack ton of Pokemon cards. And funny thing is with this product right here, it's supposed to release sometime in like August and it's already out now in June. So some Target employee messed up there. Let's see, these are Pokemon Go. But worst case scenario, I think I'm gonna pick up the Paul Day Evolved Elite Trainer Box and then check the back real quick. So I did find more Pokemon cards, but not the collection boxes that we're looking for. Okay, I think I spoke a little too early. Yeah, there's more Pokemon cards like right around the corner, but still, no Orbital V collection boxes I actually still do have to pick up the shiny crown Zenith figure collection box but I'm not gonna pick those up yet because I can just order those off of GameStop and get pro, pro points all right I'm just gonna pick up the elite trainer box and then the three pack blister and call it a day all right, and now we're back in the studio and we're gonna be opening up that three pack blister and that elite trainer box for Paldeo Evolve. And while we're doing that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and let me know down in the comments below if you were able to find the reprint of the Orbital V collection box. All right, and we're gonna start off with the three pack blister. And of course it comes with the holographic Tinka Tink with the cosmic holographic. And I actually like how it runs the Cosmo Hollow pattern runs all the way down to the borders of the pokemon card of course the promo card for you guys but let me go into a little bit more detail on what's the going on with that those reprints of the Orbital v collection boxes so the first time i've actually heard of this was on june 28th on seismic shock tv another pokey tuber and all right nothing for the first pack oh one card was upside down that was funny and when I first heard about it, I didn't believe it until he showed a receipt and he showed of him purchasing the, I think in total, if I remember correctly, a total of five of those Orbital V boxes. And on the receipt, you could see that he purchased them on the 27th of June. And when I saw it, damn, two cards in a row were that were upside down. Wow. All right. I guess it's the third pack for that blister pack is going to be upside down as well. It's this pattern is continuing let's see real quick yep that's an upside down card right there all right don't believe that's a new thing that Paldea Evolve is doing I think that was just an error pack but when I saw it that he just bought those I decided to try and go and, and see if I could find it but let's go we got a flamingo special illustration rare really awesome design I love the color palette of the pink and blue together all right so we got for a rare and a Luxray and now we're moving on to the Elite Trainer Box. And of course it comes with that promo card of the Pikachu. Code card for you guys. But like I was saying, the Orbital V Collection Boxes originally came out during Vivid Voltage. So I was honestly surprised that Pokemon kind of randomly decided to reprint those boxes and 
adds two Evolving Skies booster packs and one Cosmic Eclipse booster pack inside of it. Which, if you guys don't know how much a Cosmic Eclipse booster pack goes for nowadays, those Cosmic Eclipse booster packs go for like $15 a pack, which is absolutely insane when you remember that booster packs go for four dollars back then and then the evolving skies booster packs each each pack goes for like eight dollars i want to say eight dollars nine dollars oh i skipped two cards right there but let's see what we got for our rare and nothing there in terms of pack value for that v collection box you're looking at something close to like thirty dollars worth of booster packs inside of it Oh, doing the card trick wrong every single time but it also comes with i believe it's a vivid voltage booster pack inside of it as well as the fourth pack so yeah you're looking closer to like 30 35 dollars in value when it comes to the packs inside and in the receipt and in the video the ali from seismic shock actually only paid 18 dollars for each of those collection boxes so quite literally you are paying half of what the actual true value of those of those collection boxes so if you can go out to your local walmart and try to find them the tricky situation is as not not every walmart actually has them in stock okay let's take a quick pause and in terms of what i'm talking about the, that collection box this elite trainer box is really it's really crappy not a single hit from it and we're already what on the sixth pack in Oh my god, I really hope that these last couple packs actually provide us with at least a hit each one. Wow! Oh my god. I think I might have just thrown like $55 down the drain if I don't get a single good card. Actually, any hit. I'm talking about any hit from this Elite Trainer box. I swear to god, if I get absolutely nothing from this box... Finally a hit! Finally we got a Copper Raja EX. Finally decide this finally this elite trainer box decided to provide us a hit. God damn. That is so annoying. I really hope that these last two booster packs actually provide us with a hit in each, because otherwise this would be a really sad elite trainer box. Come on, come on, please provide us with a hit. Please. I'm begging just at least three hits. Frick. Damn, so if this, if I don't get an absolute banger from this last booster pack, this entire video was kind of a bust for my end, and at least you guys are gaining some information, so at the very least, if you guys can, hit that like button and hit the subscribe so that we don't end on a huge loss. Oh, let's go. We got a, a Lycan Rock EX full art. I mean, that's a decent hit, but damn, that was an absolute loss. But I definitely took a massive L with this video. So if you can, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, comment down below. Let me know if you're able to find those Orbital collection boxes. Because I wasn't able to and I was barely able to get a couple of hits out of these packs that I bought. But while you're at it, go ahead and click on this video right up right here. Which is the first video of me opening up some Paldeo Evolve on release day. This has been Nexus Alexis. Here's where Pokemon cards and video games come to play. And no matter how hard your road to victory is, train on gamers.